Right guys, quick video editorial. This is Kirsty's idea of doing a van together. Obviously I'm here, sorting out pallets, ripping them apart, babysitting. Come on, Baba. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is Kirsty's idea of me and her working on a van together. Say no more. Still here, still ripping up pallets. Where is she? Having the luxury of a shower. Nice for some. Are you helping? Clever. This girl has definitely got more work in her than her mama. Mama's still not here, is she? Where's your mum? So we've managed to get a nice heap of recycled pallet wood. Uh, each and every nail and nail head is going to have to come out. I think I've done the hard work. So I bet you can't guess who's going to be doing all this lot. Taking all those little nails out. That'll keep her occupied. It won't be me and it won't be Kaylin. Good luck, Kirsty. Somebody's had a hard day ripping up pallet wood. Mmm, <laughs> looks yummy, love. You'll want a middle piece, won't you? So I've done this one for me. Quiche for tea, and how's that for Ooh. use of a multi-tool? Would you like to show everybody your tool? <laughs> Machete. <laughs> Never guess what, guys. Kirsty's working. Too far in with the forks. Mummy's working and Kaylin's fully clothed. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> it's not so you can see very often. That's is it? two miracles oh, no, in one I, day. I can't do this. Right. Uh, guys, let's show you how it's done. Hold the camera. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. No, I've done 
it. Come here, come here. I've done it. I've did one. Now I want to go. Me Let go me have it. You see, this is what I have to put up with. <laughs> Stand on the bloody pallet, woman. Right. Can I just give can the people? Just, a, can I just give the people just, an example of how it should be done? <laughs> I won't use this one. Kirsty, Kirsty already had a go at that one. Yeah, you're not doing that one, one because it's so hard to get out. Two. It would have been like that if I did it. Three. Now do the one I was doing. Do that one. Yeah. This one here? Yeah. I've already done that bit. One. Two. Fucking smart ass. <laughs> Why wouldn't it work for me? Technique, baby. <laughs> Technique. <laughs> I must admit, it does make it look easy. It's hard when look, it won't even stay still. What's Caitlin doing? Running about in the grass. Bless her. <laughs> oh, there's Dylan the doggy. And he's had another pallet off. <laughs> right, now we've got to hammer the nails out of them. I'm waiting for you to stick your tongue out while you're concentrating. I'm doing some man work. Have you noticed the head nodding at the same pace as what the hammer goes in? <laughs> Just hang on a minute, I need a little shot for Dave 2 vlogs. Oh. <laughs> You're determined to get my cleavage in every video, aren't you? Clickbait. I'm not being funny here, but ladies, sometimes you need a man on the job. Definitely. I agree. I'm, I'm far, far, far from sexist, but when it comes to tools and women, well... I'm doing a good job here. Hit like if you think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> or alternatively, a dislike. Thumbs down if I'm not. <laughs> a thumbs down still going to get us noticed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go, and then that one. <laughs> Good luck. I've just got back from doing those pallets to see what the hubby's up to, and they found another big hole in the van. But it's not just a hole, there's some really random things inside. What have you got? Part of a windowsill. Part of a windowsill. There was loads of screw. pieces of lead um, as well. Oh, oh, there was that. There was Two pieces of lead. A couple of pieces of lead. There's another windowsill thing here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How oh. on earth has it all got a bit of paper? What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Go to community chest, go to jail, move directly to jail, do not post go, do not collect two hundred pounds. I ain't driving this fucking is van that, anywhere. Is that a sign? <laughs> Why on earth would that be in there? The fallen from the inside. From the inside. <laughs> How's it got in? <laughs> Falling down here oh from my the god. inside. Here, look. <laughs> Oh, I'll just do a quick update because they've literally decided to chop the whole of the back end off and start again. They've got the metal for it there. So that's going to be real, but really ugh, rebuilt entirely. Yeah, here was the problem. Put all the, all the discs he's going through. Two quid a shot and discs. Right, is yeah. that the piece that you've took that's out? That's the piece that we've taken out. Look at that. Bads. Whoa. There's nothing left of that bit. See, you know why they make cars out of shitty metal like this? It's so now, so we can get in there. Corporations can keep making more and more money. The holes around there, they've got, got a patch them. Um, car like that Henry Ford did, out of hemp. On each corner. And then build that box, ooh, build that box in. And then will we be able to put the floor panel down? I think you're just beyond hopeful. So there's something else to do after that then. <laughs> I'm not saying when we'll put the floor panel down, but Scott's going to be uh, away for the next week. Is he? Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, just informed me he's got the family coming up. Howdy. Oh, it's going to be on my own. <laughs> I got cracked on with all of them pallets the other day and I would love to show you my perfectly neat stacked pile of pallets but here's where they are uh oh I left them near the pallet pile instead of taking them back to the caravan so the campers thought they were firewood and burnt them two solid Hard days of graft. Back breaking, may I add? Gone. Anyway, I was in psycho bitch mode this morning, but I'm not going to film myself <laughs> like that. So I've calmed down now. It's all done. Um, yeah, that's where my pallets ended up. So Let's pick another log on, Kaylin. I've, I've done some more. <laughs> I'll show you my new pile of pallets now. Oh, I'm just dragging the pallet from where they are to where I need them to be so I can get on with my work. <sighs> Quite heavy. <laughs> Some of them are light but most of them are heavy. Oh, right. Just leave that one there a minute. Oh, and I'll show you the little pile that I've got so far. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Not that. That. Little pile of pallets. So I've got a lot to do because we do plan on, we were going to buy some thin ply to line it, the inside of the van out, but we've decided to use pallet wood and we're going to paint it so hopefully it'll look good and I don't think it'll be that much heavier. We had a good discussion about that last night. Oh, hopefully the wind isn't really annoying you like it is me. But yeah, Hubby's just walking up now with with another pallet. I'm going to go back and get another one and then I've, I've got three to take apart and then I'll go back again, get some more and keep doing that until uh, we've got enough to line the van. So uh, yeah, it's tough, <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the end. Right guys, quick one this morning. Uh, you know when something's just staring you right in the face and you keep thinking Maybe I can do something with that As you may know Kirsty's been stripping pallets off to uh, line the the van out and uh, Obviously before that we need to do some insulation or do we? What I'm doing is this is just temporary at the moment uh, I've had a little bit of an idea I might be able to utilise something for the uh, for the insulation on the van 
and uh, I'm going to give it a go. So this is on, this is only temporary, um, but yeah, watch this space, guys. So yeah, here we are, guys, as if by magic, out in the middle of the glorious Yorkshire countryside, up at Century Circle. Uh, it's another camp this weekend, and uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Insulation. Several months back, this was literally dumped up here, and it's been looking at me in the face for whew, far too long. Uh, I'll ex excuse the wind, guys. I know it's a bit a bit breezy. You might not be able to hear this. Um, so yeah, all this lot got dumped up here. And this, by the way, when I've been rummaging through it, I have found one or two badges from Land Rover. So shout out Land Rover to, uh, you know, not um, employ a proper contractor, a legitimate contractor to, uh, yeah, to shift your uh, rubbish. And these guys basically, Agreed with Derek, the farmer, um, to uh, store it here until they can take it all away for shredding for Jim Carners. And it was left and left and left. Look at it. Lovely countryside, and it just gets dumped. But anyway, it is going down. It has a lot of it has gone. Uh, I would say two thirds of it now has gone. Um, just the last bit to get rid of, but before they do... If anybody wants any uh, insulation for the van if they're doing a build and uh, they're all up for a bit of recycling... Yeah, I think this stuff might work, so I'll get a couple of bagfuls and take it back to the van and give it a try. Easy as that. Right guys. Uh, back up to it again. Right, so this is only temporary and it's just to uh, satisfy my curiosity and this is going to be really really difficult. Um, I'm try and find somewhere for you guys to sit. Right, I've got three lots of material here. That is like a, I don't know, it's a fibre fibre quilt so it's pretty clean to work with what I was thinking was um, pull them up like that roll them up and yeah that actually works pretty nicely so that's the first material and this is this stuff here, this is just like a uh, thick wool yeah. insulation. I'm sorry about the uh, yeah, yeah. So that's like a thick wool insulation, and then there's this stuff here that I'm not quite, not quite so keen on. Uh, it's probably very easy to work with, but it just falls apart and uh, it is fibre, like fibre glass I think, and there's a lot of dust that comes from it and you, very small pieces of dust and as they come down you know and settle into the van you're breathing them in so I'm not so keen on using that stuff so I think, I think I'm going to work between this and this and uh, stuffing it up there I'm really liking this stuff very easy to work with yeah just rip it off a little bit of plastic on that and stuff it in I think, you know what guys, 
I think that that's just saved us about 300 quid on insulation and it's stuck by our morals of recycling wherever possible so yeah shout out to Land Rover thanks for the free insulation uh, perhaps you'd like to come and move the rest of your gear thanks bye <laughs> right guys just so you know what's going on here there's we, we've just informed Scott about the extra welding that's to do on the van. Yeah. <laughs> so we made him we made him nice and comfortable. We've got, you a nice and comfortable we've got him a up. we've got him a bunch of grapes. Do you want to show him his foot? Fresh. Stool? Yeah. Look look at look at the potty stool. <laughs> Scott. Nice? Scott. Oh. He we, like need, the we, uh, we need something better. <laughs> well, you could have got him a right bunch. Well, they were the purplest. We need some welding doing I'll on the van, Scott. <laughs> Even Kaylin. <laughs> Scott, you will be treated like this every like day. Royalty. Like royalty. <laughs> Just please help us with the van. You know I'll help. Yes. <laughs> we got that on video. Got it on video. On evidence. video. Evidence. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha.